Apart from the fact that they steal our data for money, apart from the fact that, that they steal our data for monetary gain and they've fucked our... You know, politician, our, and they got Donald Trump. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, they, and then they let people get murdered in Myanmar and all but, of those but, other things. But but is Zuckerberg evil, or does he just like making money? Well, he's got more money than anyone would ever need, so it's not about money. No, but 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 and when you but it's about success. It's about success. So power, if you're not it, success, power. no, but also I'm going to use the word success, right? So if you're here and you're Facebook in how, whenever Facebook started, and then you're here, and then you're here, and then you're here, and then you're here, you don't want to go back to there. No, of course you don't. Use you power. Know. You want no, nah, but you don't always have to say power. Like me, right? Say say me as an entrepreneur. So if I if I take Athena and and in the years we're there, two years we're there, three years we're there. Like it's still the same concept. I don't want to go back to there, not because of power. I don't want to go back there because I just want to be successful. What but that's I do. you. Well, yeah, that's no, you no, but I'm just saying. But I'm just saying. Why do we? Well, why do we? Apparently... Why do we default to the fact that? Why do we? As our default that Zuckerberg's evil. Because I think that his actions show that he has sociopathic tendencies, where he cares little about the people that have made him so wealthy. That may be true, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to debate I that. I mean, history has proven <coughs> time and time again those people exist, so there's no reason. I mean, how did Hitler get into power? People were wooed by his charm. And Jeez, no- we're putting him in some pretty heavy category here. He's <laughs> getting right. super heavy. I, I Zuckerberg have- is coming for us after this show. We're not going to be able to release this. <laughs> we're just going to have to call him. We're just going to have to edit in. Well, this is going to be so heavily edited. It's going to be like, hey, Steve. Oh, thanks for making sure you have my glasses. I'll tell you an interesting Steve. story. <laughs> on, the, on the future sandwich, now yeah. soon later, little, yeah. um, you know, the little TV thing that we do once a week, the little video, we put one up that was uh, about a non-Zuckerberg topic on Facebook and it had 4,000 views. And then we put one up that was about the Zuckbuck and it only had 300 views. Same channel, same promotional element, same down. Mm-hmm. But you know what? You know where people whinge about Facebook on Facebook. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like the look, idea of um, Zuckerberg creating his army. But well, but, but no. But do you know private a... companies have had armies before? What's that? Yeah, private companies have had armies before. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know examples, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the example is the East India Trading Company. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's they, a great they example. They, they had an army. Yeah. You know, Google almost had an army. Where they had a they had a share in Boston Dynamics, you know they they make those yeah. crazy robots that yeah, just scare Boston the hell Dynamics. out of everyone. Yeah, you know those robots. They're yeah, like yeah, they yeah. are. The ter- it's like the there's a Terminator like company over there, and an everyone's like, oh time. yeah, cool, that's that Terminator <laughs> company. We're just like letting that happen. <laughs> yeah. It's like you see another video of that Terminator <laughs> company, you're like yeah, cool. So that's where they go. They get pretty close. <laughs> right, so what were you saying? Sip your coffee. It's like what? <laughs> Yeah, the, no, the cool is, factor of yeah, it. Yeah, the Toyota company's really coming along. <laughs> well, the funny thing is that's so, that's so interesting to think about because that is the Cyber big thing. Cyberdyne systems. That's what uh, they should be called. Th- that, that is the big thing with um, with uh, Libra coin Is if Facebook are you know playing us all for a fool, they own. What did you say? What was the first thing you said? Uh, that it was um, something. Then the money. Then the um, then the army. The oh, so the first thing you do is control the media. Yeah, control the media. That's right. Then you they control the money. control the media. And then you build an army. That's basically the three steps to tyranny. That, mm. that, that's happened Imagine if we did time and time again through history. Tyrannised by the Zark. <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, <sighs> don't, don't act like this. And you know, by the way. Great. You know, Bezos will Harvard fight CV. for us. Did you know he Bezos is? Bezos will fight for us. He is the, he is. <laughs> yeah, we have, this is, we're in good shape here. We've got a tech boo in there fighting for us. Uh, and It'll so, be the nerdiest fight. If it was an actual <laughs> physical fight. <laughs> you you know, no, Bezos is, got, Bezos is buff fight. now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bezos is buff now. Have you seen him? He's all yeah, jacked. He's all jacked. Him. I've seen him actually. He's like Zuckerberg. Yeah, he wears sunnies like this bloke. He does. And he walks with that muscle shirt and he's like, he's just... Um, be a so, uh, no, that's interesting. The, well, that, media, media, money, army. Media, money, army. Yeah. That's the three steps of tyranny. Right, we're um, giving them the money. I, I reckon Libra will take off. This has happened I don't before know many it, times. This pattern happens mm, again and again, mm. and it's foreseeable because what happens is when new boundaries get invented. Right, because you've got to remember we start as little tribes and then we have regions and then we had nation states and countries mm. and then we had empires. Yeah. Well maybe maybe he wants to build the first empire without a geographic border. Mm. Oh, I mean right? you'd got a bad dreaming of that as any individual today. I want to own an empire, right? What's a great... A lot of people do that. And he's a student of the classics. You know, he loves reading the classics about war and Napoleon mm, and all that. Mm, Did you know that? Mm. What's what's the greatest, like, you know, accomplishment a human could have is control over the species. Being wow. Em- being is that, emperor. I don't know. A, a compliment, a compliment's oh, yeah, an interesting like, word. Yeah, but like, as in like, you know, what, what are the things that we dream of, right? That, that, that's it's one of the things. things that you dream of, mate. 
Oh, no, not necessarily. I, I wouldn't hate that. He's a sociopath. I, no, I'm just joking. Sociopaths. <laughs> well, no, he's giving me a lot of shit here. But, you know, in terms of like, okay, you, what, what are the fantasies that humans have, right? History has shown time and time again. Some what, humans. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, a greater percentage de- or a dream of it than what actually managed to accomplish it. But history shows. Yeah, yeah, like 12 people in the history of humanity yeah. have done it. But yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, you know, yeah. a lot more dream of it. And yeah, people like power and control yeah. and. and, and and when you're status. in a position where status. you already have so status. much of it, I like status. Mm. Like status, it's, I care it's, about. It's at your fingertips, right? It's so close to your fingertips right now that you he's can almost, really close. He's you way can close reach than you. out and have it. He can. I promise you, he could do some levers like this yep. and change an election in a heartbeat in every country but China. Mm. By the way, there's only one sovereign country in the world, and that's China. Mm. No other country has digital sovereignty anymore. Yep. Digital sovereignty is gone for every country except for China. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm. because sovereignty enables you to communicate and control and work within your populace but if you have someone who has infiltrated other nations like a species because it's many people say we're already in world war four we just don't know it yet it's an artificial intelligence war Mm. well the biggest player in artificial intelligence in that war is you know google and facebook and so on Mm. Mm. bezos is probably the least evil out of them all other than his alexa because he's just selling stuff Mm. yeah that is but but I feel like he wants to do that. I feel like, I feel like, you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts, corrupts absolutely. Yeah. And I just feel like I don't know if he started with good intentions. I mean, just, the movie, uh, the Social Network shows otherwise. Really, no, but not. But he didn't. Have, he didn't. He, he didn't start with intentions of being emperor of the world. He started oh, with no, intentions no, of to setting doing up something, to making yeah. something. Right? Yeah, he wanted yeah, to make yeah, something yeah, cool no. or big yeah. or but, whatever. But it's not the yeah. emperor of the world. It's traits <laughs> of your personality. Right, it's the traits of your personality that show what you're going to be when you have that power. Well, he's the most powerful person in the world. It's not even close. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, do you think it's time for a competitor to come along and dethrone all the social networks that currently exist? I don't think any. No. Well, that's already happened. Do you know what happened? There was this amazing Facebook social network. No, there was. Yeah, there was an amazing uh, organization doing incredibly well called Instagram, and Facebook went, "Here's a billion dollars." And then there was this other amazing organization called WhatsApp, and Facebook said, "Here's nineteen billion dollars." Mm. And Facebook had an app that they bought called Onavo, mm. and Onavo was really interesting because what Onavo was was an app that tracked the apps on your phone, and as soon as any competitor looked like they might even be a threat, they got bought before mm. they could become a threat. Mm. And so that's antitrust behavior. And so Facebook and Google and the others have just been allowed to acquire any company they want Mm. unfettered and they probably should be broken up. I don't think anyone can beat them because they're so big now that they're an invasive species. And so no other species can get the oxygen and get the footing in the ground to kind of come up yet. Tell you the only thing that can can beat them is the negative impacts of social media on society yeah yeah that's the only thing that can and regulating about. against it and, and, and yeah and regulating against it it's not because even social media look at talk let's talk about the influence and power of google mm. right yeah google's incredibly but powerful. google but, but google doesn't google doesn't kill people so my my, my uh, point my, my point no no but regardless of like no no but my point is so i've always believed that social media will be will at some point have warning labels on it when you open the app Excessive use of this will cause depression because that's what the studies show. Yeah, just yeah, like, and it's really clear, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And just just like cigarettes, and cyber cigarette, bullying and c- all of c- that. Yep. Cigarettes were cool, no worries. Everyone smoking cigarettes. Ah, oh, fuck these killers. Okay, better put a warning pa- label on it. Well, actually, but, it was twenty years before that. They, they knew it was bad for a long time yeah, before they even started like we to take now. action. Like we do now, we're in yeah, that yeah, we're yeah. in that knowing stage. We're before. in that we're in the nineteen sixties of smoking. But yeah. there was another thirty years before any real that's serious right. action happened. That's right, but. But I believe that serious action will happen. So I spoke to a psychologist buddy of mine on this podcast actually and he talked about the fact, I said, what do you think will happen with social media addiction in 10 years' time? Where will we be at? I think we'll have warning labels on opening apps. It'd be good. And he said, I think it'll, be, it'll go way further than that. He goes, I think that Apple will bring, or someone will bring out a phone that makes calls, sends emails and sends texts and that's what will be all the rage. The first phone that is absolutely, it'll get that bad. It'll get to a point that's that bad. Kind of like paleo. 
the paleo equivalent of digital. <laughs> yeah, I don't like paleo. Mate, yeah. oh, uh, paleo phone. Get the new paleo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Text that's that. right. It's called Nokia, baby. Just get <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, that's right. What is it, the 3310? Yeah. 3310? Yeah, 3310, yeah. mate. It's the 9220, whatever yeah. that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. one. Snake two. Snake what? two. And Not snake what? one, but snake two. And yeah. you know what's amazing about it? The battery lasts 17 weeks. Who knew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but but that's what I think will happen. That could be the one thing that could take them down is the fact that what they've built is killing people and it's going to get to a point where people are going to get more and more angry about it. I yeah, think. it's unhealthy. It's definitely unhealthy. I, I don't read as many books now as I used to. I used to read a book a week and now yeah. I'm down to one a month because yeah, I've, yeah. I, I just... I lazily just go, I'll just read the latest tech news or yeah, the whatever. Not exactly. like I'm not just looking at pictures and stuff. Yeah. Like I, th- I think I'm doing valuable things, yeah, but I'm watching right. YouTube videos yeah. and whatever. And I'm, you just get sucked in. You just, you just go to this because it's easy. It's addiction. It is. It's addiction. It kind it's of the is. same as any addiction. It's, it's the same kind as, of is. I it's think the same you're as right. food, oh, yeah, drugs, it's, but it, it's the same endorphins. It's, yeah, that's it's what endorphins, it's, yeah. It's the best. It's the best and they know it. And they know it for sure. And it's so much more addictive than like nicotine or anything because it's been engineered to be much more addictive. Yeah. But... There's another thing that I don't think you're touching on at the moment, which is even more interesting. And I think, Steve, you being also like quite well indoctrinated into startups, you know a little bit about this. Nobody wants to step on the toes of the giants. If you go to a VC and you say, I'm doing this, the first question that they ask for anything is, what's stopping Google from doing it? What's yeah, stopping? that's the first question. Right? And that, why is everybody so afraid? Because we've, we've experienced this in our industry, right? Google mm. comes along and says, okay, cool, we're going to launch a competitor. Love them. I love what they're doing. But the VC's first question they say is, well, we don't want to fund you because Google's already doing something yeah, similar. Yeah, and yeah, because VCs don't give a shit about your startup. That's yeah. the first thing we need to remember. So on that point there, the reason the VC is asking that isn't because they might not want you to do it. It's because that they don't think that you can. Mm-hmm. And there's a really high chance that they're right because mm-hmm. they're incredibly resourced. I did hear a story about when Dropbox launched... Um, they went to uh, Chris Sacker of Lowercase Capital and said, oh, we're doing Dropbox, we want to invest. He's like, you know, Google have got their cloud. They're going to kill you overnight. You would never mm. survive. But Dropbox did, right? Yeah. That's one slither of their business. But um, these companies are just so powerful that they wouldn't want to fund someone who's trying to go up against them because they just think it would be a bad bet on their money. Yeah, that's is, right. Is, is probably why. Yeah. And I don't – I think that uh, I, I would want to see a startup – to do better than them but it's very very difficult mm. when someone just be, has so much critical mass it's just really really hard to compete do you think it's stifling them. innovation and like development yeah of course it is of yeah. course it's stifling well, innovation the, 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 100% absolutely hmm. if you have a really powerful company it's really really hard to compete against them uh, or to not get bought yeah. out by them some yeah. the people that go into competition who's not going to take 400 fucking million dollars yeah, yeah right, right which is uh, no, which yeah, is, but, but not everyone Mm. Not everyone is what I'm saying. Not everyone is going to take the money, but most of them are. Most, most of them will would. fail, Who and the ones that don't fail, most of them will take the money, and the ones most, that don't take most, the money, most of them would probably, probably take fifty million or a hundred million. I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever the number is, you got to start Man, I'll take up five. doing Give me five right yeah, now, yeah, sell yeah, yeah, I've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And so, yeah, yeah, you can have the access to my life. You can be Bill Kerr. Yeah, yeah. So, like most people would sell out pretty, pretty comfortably. They would do it, but that's because you're doing it for the money. Right? Yeah, right. So no, I, I, but it's doing it for if it's because you got to think of like the light at the end of the tunnel. If you if you have an offer, not not people that are just doing it for the money, but if you have an offer that can change your life and your f- children's lives and your children's before Screw all that. No, no, no. no, no but that's that. but that's you got to think of like yeah. normal people. You know, normal people. That's quite a. It's well, quite the Snapchat guy thing, said you know? no to to a nine billion. Yeah, offer. and look at what's happening with them. Well, they, they, they're still around. Death they're still, they're alive. Cuts. Yeah. Oh, well, they got they got stooged. So, like yeah. their stuff got. So yeah, yeah and, that's right. Yeah, they did yeah, by the yeah. bigger competitor yeah, who yeah, had more resources. Which it's basically, a perfect example of yeah, what we're talking as about. As a classic Great. example, they say yeah. that um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's innovation department is Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the greatest innovation that that's Snapchat good. can do right now, the greatest yeah. business model pivot, is yeah. moving into an augmented reality company because that's the best that they do right now. Right, their filters. Yeah, Snapchat's mm. filters are so much better if they move mm. into augmented reality and buy out a hardware company making augmented reality glasses. Mm. Snapchat can actually become something so much more than what it was. But do we want big, big companies or would you rather have a whole lot of smaller companies? Like if you start a social media company, Mm. where are you going to promote it? Mm. Now, this this is a really interesting question. This is a question of antitrust. Google. You want to start, you're going to start on what? On one of the big... Four companies, and where are you? Where are you going to host your server on AWS? Yeah. And who are you going to place your ads with? Google and Facebook. Mm. And what phone are you going to put on Android and Apple? Like these guys are monopolies. Yeah. And the definition of a monopoly is this: Can you opt out of that company 
and still participate economically? Answer that question. If you can opt out of using one of those four companies... Not Google. Still, well, there's no way that anyone in the modern Western world cannot in some case capacity use Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft or Google. You cannot opt out of those companies. Mm. It's, and, yeah. and participate economically. And do business. So, yeah, that's right. And do business. Yeah. You can't. You have to use them in some capacity. Therefore, they're monopolies. Mm. And a lot of people are calling for them to be split up. I saw an interview with Sheryl Sandberg and she was like, oh, are we asking the right question? Maybe it's not. We just need to be regulated. Yeah, it's like... Mm. That is interesting, yeah. Mm. So you, going you, down a weird, you do weird have path. a very, very deep kind of distrust for... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Not for technology. Yeah. But for the people in charge. For monopolies. Yeah. yeah, not so much Google. I know that Google do a lot of surveillance. Yeah. Um, not so much Amazon. Facebook in particular mm. is the one that um, seems to disregard privacy and security. They've been hacked so many times. Mm. Uh, they seem to be the worst of them, I think, in many ways. Kind of like Google, you kind of know what the deal is. Yeah. Facebook seems to, through their chicanery, and the way that they give you terms and conditions and change a lot. You know how much of a, like, try, try and go into do your privacy settings in Facebook. Mm. It's set up that way. Google, when you go into their privacy settings, it's a lot cleaner and easier. They'll even mm. show you the subscriptions that they know They're you've not got passed. They're No, I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, because they don't need to. They know that they've got a sticky, They've got a great product. Yeah. And it's a great product and it's fine yeah. and it's good and I get it. Um, and I don't, I don't want to have a world that is run by the government. Mm. I don't want a government. To, I don't want my my smartphone to be made by the government. So I don't want the government to build company. my car. What? But you know what I think? I think that what's happened is these companies have become public infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, what I think. Hundred percent. They're like a telephone line, or like a or, or a road, or a water system, or a railway. It's like they're in what's called a natural. You know what a natural monopoly is? No. Natural. It's a, it's a it, it's an interesting term in economics. A natural monopoly is a platform that it makes more sense to have one that everyone uses. So I'll give you a couple of examples of na natural monopolies in business. The railways are a natural monopoly because what you don't want to have is going around America or Australia, two sets of train tracks right next mm. to each other. Mm. It makes more sense to have the tracks, one set of tracks mm. that everyone can use. You can put different trains on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? A natural monopoly is a water system. Mm where we have the same pipes mm -hmm. and there's one organization that runs the pipes or the power lines. You don't want to have two sets of competing power lines. You know one thing yeah. we've got in Australia since we floated Telstra? Terrible idea. We've got different companies putting up 5G towers to mm. compete. That's mm. crazy. Mm. Have one set of the best 5G towers you can have and then re let retailers compete on top. Yeah. So certain That's things are natural monopolies. Yep. Roads are natural monopolies. Yeah. You don't want to have Corporation XYZ Road and Corporation ABC Road. Yeah, you can't use oh, which road are you going on? Oh, well, I'm subscribed to ABC Road. Well, I'm on XYZ Fuck. Road, so I can't That's come visit you. That's a funny concept. Because your house is on ABC Road and I'm going on XYZ Road. There's no reason why that wouldn't have happened in the, like, the way that the world... That, that's one of those forks. The we, reason we, that that happened so is nice. because we had Adam Smith and certain economists that understood what natural monopolies are. And so, well, <laughs> and so we need. I'm just trying to see if Sasha's still just so, engaged. Well, well, so, had a and so while. certain <laughs> things are certain things are natural monopolies. It's a language is a natural monopoly. Yeah. See, it's more valuable that everyone speaks the same language, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you have different ones, sure, mm -hmm. but it's more valuable that we have the same plugs and we set up a design for the plugs so that whenever I buy an electrical component, it can go into the Thank same. Thank you, wall. Apple, for not following that. Uh, Apple, <laughs> a lot of look, a lot of people don't know this is a secret. This is a secret just for brolosophy. Yeah. <laughs> Apple right. make all of their money out of just changing the little plugs. All of this is just all a trick to sell more plugs because every model comes out as a different plug and they just do it on purpose. And that's where they're profiting. Yes, I'm, only yes. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. They just do it because they make trust. Right. So I think, that, I think that social media maybe is a little bit like telephone companies. Mm. Maybe yeah, what no, we need is sure. one killer social media that's open source. Imagine an open source, amazing, free uh, social media that just gets run mm. by coders that develop a little bit like Wikipedia or... There, there should be a subscription model for this podcast purely because of the amount of startup ideas that are here. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a lot, right? Um, and so, yeah, that, that, that could, should or would happen. Um, there was one other point I wanted to make on that, but uh, the natural monopolies uh, are interesting. And every evolution in 
uh, technological history, we've had new natural monopolies that emerge. Mm. And it takes courage to know what they are and go, that's a natural monopoly. We should yeah. really only have one version of it. Blockchain is a chance to solve this. The biggest opportunity in the world to bust all this up is blockchain-based technology. Because mm -hmm. we could have a crypto cryptographically protected uh, network. And there's a few out there that are trying to do it. There's one called Steam, which is a social media. Mm -hmm. And what you have is you have you control your own data and you give someone a key and anyone can plug in and see that social media. So I think it will eventually emerge in blockchain, but that's a good 10 years away before the tech's ready. Mm. Anyway, sure. sorry, we got deep economic yeah. hardcore nerd. And no, I'm so was... sorry. I just want to apologise to everyone <laughs> for this nerdosity, but it's Bill Kerr's fault, so you should just blame him. There, there, there's multiple people uh, falling asleep listening to this podcast. <laughs> no, there's not. One life. But you know what? One life. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. It, what I'm saying is I'll fall asleep listening to this podcast later on tonight. <laughs> this, is for, this is for intelligent people, yeah. and if people want to fall asleep because they're exactly. unintelligent, we can't. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot we can do. Uh, uh, so 